chicos y chicas, I'm Ricardo Laguna and welcome back to my channel as today we're gonna talk about why are house prices going so high? Thank you so much for sharing your valuable time to watch this YouTube video and it will mean the world if you guys can share as well as if you guys can hit that like button because by you guys hitting that like button it's gonna help this YouTube video to get out there so that more people can learn from it. And if you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe as I am to have a new episodes every Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. And let's connect with my social media. Now that we got that out of the way, you guys might be asking yourself, why are home prices so high? Well, here are my thoughts why I think those prices on those homes are too high. One of the reasons is because interest rates are so low and demand right now is an all time high. First thing you have to understand about demand is the law of demand. Change in demand. And we have a very low supply of homes for sale. Plus, forbearance has been extended. Most states are not allowing any tenants to get evicted. And as of now, foreclosures are in a pause. So I like to think home buyers are buying mortgages, not homes. Come on, people, let's pay attention. And before I start breaking it down, what I think about all this. All right, let me break it down to you right quick. It will mean the world if you guys can either or share this video and or like this video because if you do both, you guys will make my day. Now, before I start, I want to let you know track records on home prices are reflected on home interest rates. So simple math, if interest rates are high, should mean price homes should be down. So what would it mean if interest rates are low? Hmm, well, I guess most likely home prices should be high. Now, I know most of you guys out there are hearing their interest rates are going up and you guys are freaking out, man. I'm freaking out, man. You are freaking out, man. But wait a second. Right now, we have interest rates are lower than 4%. Now, I know most of you guys are used to hearing that back in December, January-ish, that interest rates were in the high 2%. And to keep it real with you guys, that's pretty much unheard of. Why did you I'm do this keeping to it your real. Because I'm keeping it real. Because I'm, keep I'm keeping it real. So having a 3% interest rate is still an amazing interest rate. So I'm pretty sure if you guys tell your grandparents that people on today's market are people qualifying the 3% interest rate, they will be, I don't believe you. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> so let's start doing some math. If you guys were to buy a home for $400,000 at a 3% interest rate with a 3% down payment, which that will be about $12,000, now, 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 remember, I will recommend you to do a 20% down so you guys don't have to pay PMI. And here is a video about PMI, just in case if you guys don't know what PMI means. So back to the story, guys. If you were hypothetically, as I recommend most of you guys, you put 20% down on a $400,000 home, your down payment is going to be around $80,000. Now, now, I know $80,000 sounds like a lot of money, but trust me, you guys will thank me in the long run because that will save you tons of money. Now, now, I know most of you guys want to do the lowest payment possible that you guys might be able to qualify. So we're going to go with the easiest case scenario to keep the crowd like you guys happy. Now, keep in mind, this is only if you guys were to be able to qualify for this scenario. By doing a 3% down payment from a property that's gonna be worth $400,000, that's gonna leave you with a mortgage for $388,000, making your monthly payment $2,552.49. Now, let's check out what could happen if interest rates go up 
a home that you're gonna be buying for $400,000 at 5% interest rate, your monthly payment will be $2,499 with 53 cents. Making a difference each month for $447 with three cents. Making a difference for the whole year, $5,364 with 48 cents a year. Making the difference for the whole loan term of the loan, which will be 30 years, that total is $160,934 with four cents. So that's just a peace of mind if you guys were to wait and interest rates climb up 2%. And that is if you guys don't buy on today's market. And yes, yes, I have heard that today's market is priced a little too high. So if you were to ask me, you guys might be losing if you can get in on today's low interest rate. And of course, I mean mortgages as well as fixed loans, not bad loans. Because remember, real estate, if you guys hold long term, you're pretty much guaranteed to make money off of it. And to continue with the fun facts, if you guys purchase a home right now, every month, you'll continue paying down, which means that you're gonna be owing less and less and less. Making it a step closer from being mortgage free, which I like to think none of us know what the future can hold for us. Making a good decision by purchasing today as long as the numbers add up for you guys. Making it affordable and doable so you guys can conquer your goals. Now, if you guys are asking me, is there any guidelines for us to know how home prices will pin out? Well, there is kind of somewhat, but rule of thumb is, and it's not guarantee, but I guess traditionally, when interest rates go up by 1%, give or take, home prices will drop about 11%. So, like most economy and traditionally, low supply, higher demand equals more competition. And as of today, we are looking like low supply, high demand, which means a lot of people are overbidding. Okay, people, here's how this is gonna work. I have an apple here. The highest bidder's going home with this. I want all bids in in the next two minutes, then we're closing it. Bidding starts at $5. Feeling pretty confident there, huh? I mean, don't you $10. think? $10. He said starting at five. 15. Is this a new apple? Yeah, just listed. I'm pre-qualified. I'll pay cash. I got cash. 20, uh, 30, 40. No, just make it 45. Is it even worth that? 50. I don't know. Please, this is the eighth apple I've tried to buy. Could I at least see it up close? Uh, nope, it's an apple. You know what it is. You either want it or you don't. I'll take it for 100. What, I'm from California. It's the cheapest apple I've ever seen. 120. Why did I do that? Why, I don't, I don't. And like I've been hearing from my real estate friends, buyers keep having low amount of options to purchase from. Making them outbid offers, do appraisal waivers, which means they're for sure gonna be overpaying. And like I said earlier, most buyers are saying, well, I don't care if I overpay because I have super low interest rate that I qualify for. So that equals couple bucks out of my pocket every month with today's low interest rate. Now, this could be another reason why the buyers are saying, I don't care if I overpay. Mm, well, that could be because we don't know how much longer forbearance is gonna continue going, which that will mean not much more real estate inventory will be popping out. Making it a slower pace for builders, flippers, renters, remodels, etc. Since we are seeing just about everything on a pause. Now, if I was to put myself as a seller, yes, I might sell my property at a high price, but now where am I going to live at? Because most likely if they have to purchase another property, they will most likely will have to compete with tons of people and overpay like other buyers that we have right now. So selling your home on a higher price, is that really benefiting you guys? Because if you guys buy right now, you guys are going to be buying on a really pricey scenario. Because if you guys buy right now, 
that will mean you guys will be buying on a high price as well. Basically, making it a wash, right? Guys, thank you so much for sharing your valuable time. If you guys haven't hit that like button, it will mean the world if you guys hit the like, as well if you can share this video. And if you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe as I am to have new episodes every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. If you guys have any questions, this is my email. And if we haven't connect with my social media, let's connect. And to leave you guys with my final thought, if you guys sell on today's market, and you guys buy on today's market, is that a good decision?